This is the Henry's Child Podcast. Am I crazy or am I just raving? Welcome to another missing music episode of the Am I Crazy or Am I Just Raving podcast. Now today I'm very excited to share this with you because I was cleaning out a hard drive and I found an amazing specimen that I'm about ready to share with you. Now what makes this particular song so special is the fact that in one fell swoop, it epitomizes everything that made Henry's Child the powerhouse that it was in the past. And true fans are going to really, really dig this because this song has everything that you could ever want from a Henry's Child song. I just realized I used song twice in the same sentence, but I'm sure you'll forgive me. But before we get into it, let's get a little bit of housekeeping out of the way. Uh, first and foremost, thank you for your participation in the Fee Waving Friday. If you went out and you bought our vinyl record or you bought the digital version of Clearly Confused, I want to thank you for taking the time to delay that gratification and purchase that record at a time when it gives the most amount of money to the artist. Because without any shows, we have no revenue coming in. And without any revenue coming in, it makes it very difficult to record new music for you. So if you really want to get some new music from Henry's Child or Seven Second Circle, please go to Bandcamp and buy our stuff. And I, I, you know, it's funny, I actually spaced off giving you the URL, which is available at our website, henryschild.com. And I've gone to great lengths to make it as easy as possible to connect with us on the web. The web, what am I like, 80 years old? The internet. The Bandcamp address is henryschild.bandcamp.com, and our website is henryschild.com. That said, we are still going ahead with our show that is going to now happen in May. It's going to be the last weekend in May, and it's going to be in Nevada. And that's about all that I can tell you at this point. We are about ready to sign the contract for it. And once we do, I will be letting you know. I will probably end up doing a whole entire episode just based around this coming out of COVID show. So be prepared for that. It's going to be the last weekend in May. And it's going to be out of state. So that wasn't too bad for updates, was it? Today's song is a song, like I said, that epitomizes Henry's Child. If you like things that have a slow build, if you like things that have a groove, if you like things that have a deep meaning in the lyrics, you're going to love this particular song. Now, this particular song is called Reasonable Doubt, and this would have been recorded pre-Andrew leaving, so pre-February 2nd, 1998. And post clearly confused. So post April 1997. So between April 1997 and February 1998, this song was recorded. I also think that this was one of the very first that we had probably written before Doug joined and then Doug joined. And then I think we learned this one together because the groove that I have with the drummer, whoever's playing drums on this is really, really amazing. Um, the lyrics are also a high point for this song. Uh, things like incidents and circumstance, you know, getting these long things to fit into these short amount of spaces. Andrew did an amazing job with that. So if you liked Henry's Child for the lyrics before, you're going to love this song. Andrew was at his height when it came to writing lyrics, and he was still married to Don at the time. So there was a lot of things to pull from, and he did the best. He did the absolute best that he could. Um, and really, like I said, in typical Henry's Child fashion, this is really three parts to this song. There's this kind of this opening riff. There's this groove that happens, which it's a good groove, but it gets better. There's the big chorus that everybody can sort of, you know, sing along with. And then this absolutely epic outro. So those three parts are going to keep you glued to your seat. It also shows off the fullness of what the band could do, being that at the time we never even considered having another guitar player. 
So really, if it just being the really the three of us that are supporting Andrew's vocals, I mean, this is an amazing example of that. And really, a just instantly a classic song that brings back so many memories, even though I got to be honest, I don't actually remember playing this out live. And if we did, it was probably done experimentally at the Venetian Theater in Albany. That's about the only place that I can remember kind of messing with it. And maybe that was even before the show. So at any rate, please enjoy this song, Reasonable Doubt.
There you have it, Reasonable Doubt. Today's missing music for the Am I Crazy or Am I Just Raving podcast. Complete with the unpolished version recorded at our rehearsal studio down in Cresswell and me hitting the wrong note and just letting it hang out there with all the confidence in the world, baby. Just happy to be there. Happy to be creating music with my brothers and and getting that out into the world. Such a good thing. You know, I can't even remember why this wasn't recorded. I mean, when I started revisiting this in my brain and going back to the sort of the time frame when it was created, we did a lot of stuff in a short amount of time. And that being from April and of May of 1997 to the very, very beginning of 1998. I mean, that's when we met Bill Wilkins down in San Francisco and had done all kinds of stuff in that very short amount of time. So I don't really have a good uh, reason as to why that never made it on a record. But as you can tell, it's literally classic Henry's Child with those three movements, the groove in between, the lyrics, you know, the guitar, and me and Doug sort of supporting Rich. I mean, it's everything that a classic Henry's Child song could be. So before I sort of get into my ending pitch with trying to get you to sign up for my newsletter list, I should make mention that I choose to use my influence in the band to really do what you want us to do because fans are what created us and fans are what guide where we go. So for example, if you would like to hear this particular song recorded again, please let me know. And you can do so by writing me directly at Henry's child at Henry's child.com that goes off right in my pocket. So if you write me that shows up, you know, on every break that I get at work. Uh, you can always reach out to us via our website too, henryschild.com. So if you'd like to hear this recorded, please let me know. And like I said before, if you're not a member of our newsletter list, please go to our website, henryschild.com, leave your first name, email address, and hit the download button, and you'll be sent a copy of Human Being that's a little bit different than what's on the recording. But more importantly, you'll be the first to know about shows, recordings, and podcasts as they come out. So thank you again for listening. We appreciate you and we love you. Keep wearing a mask, keep washing your hands, and we're going to play for you very soon. Take care. It came out my mouth.